Hello everyone, Awesome Soul here, and welcome to a bit of a different video. So in light of what's happening on the forums, the whole big change that uh, Freejam is proposing, and then not proposing, but then reworking, kind of, I don't know exactly what's going on. By the time this comes up, we probably should have a reworked chapter 3, if I'm not mistaken, according to Mark's Twitter, anyways. I was going to do this as a suggestion video because, well, I work better with videos rather than typing out huge blocks of text. But regardless of whether or not we do get a modified version of Chapter 3 or no Chapter 3 at all, I figured these suggestions would still be viable and uh, probably should make it into Robocraft at some point or another. So, at least my take on it. So, you guys were saying, at least uh, addressing free time here, um, you were saying that you get 5,000 new users every day, which is absolutely insane. Good for you guys. However, you don't really keep that many. Now, I assume that with every game, especially free to play, you're gonna have drop-offs of people who just come in and say like, oh, this is kind of cool, but it's not for me. That's kind of with every game, but, you know, free to play is more often because it's, well, free, and you can just jump in with no uh, real downside. But we need ways to keep players around, and something that I've kind of noticed that, I don't know, with, with new players especially, I've seen in chat, they have many questions to ask, as well as few players that I've uh, helped coach through in order to rise up the ranks. Well, and I guess my experience too, to some extent, early on, when I was just starting out the game. Because that aspect hasn't changed a lot. Robocraft can be a very lonely experience if you don't know the proper channels to go to. Uh, like, you know, the forums, or like, say you don't want to participate in the forums, you're more of an in-game person. You don't really have that camaraderie and connection with people. It's very, very difficult to contact people. Like, I was trying to contact Rollin um, from the Gamer Guide channel. We were trying to get in contact in Robocraft. It took a very long time to do that, um, just because the chat system isn't fantastic. So a completely overhauled chat system is something that is really needed. As well, clans. We've had that grayed out clan button for, god, since I started playing, which is about a year. It hasn't been touched at all. I, I really think that's something that needs to be worked on. So with this new chat system, and especially the clan system, this will bring a new level of connection that especially new players are really missing in this game. So with this, they'll be e uh, able to more easily contact some more experienced players in the chat instead of the answer to their questions scrolling up and them having no way to see what just happened. They could easily get in contact with them, they could easily get in contact with other newer players. As well, they could also simply join a clan or make their own. They would feel a lot more welcome in this game. And once you have someone there in your same position, you know, a friend or an acquaintance. Just having that will make you want to cu uh, come back to the game and you know, keep coming back, that sort of thing. I think that's something that would really help out quite a lot. And clan versus clan battles would be absolutely insane. This could also be another monetization option for Free Jam. Say you want to add, like you're a clan owner, you want to add more slots to your clan. You can pay some galaxy cash to open up a, maybe like a tiny amount to open up one slot for each one or you could say like buy a bundle of ten slots or whatever I don't know it'd be kind of interesting and definitely clan versus clan battles so all one clan versus all one clan because platoons are fun but you know I can see why they have to sort of balance it but with a pl uh, clan rather that's a little different um, and then, finally, getting into something that Freejam has actually acknowledged, at least two of these things. Um, more social game modes. Now, I know a lot of you, or at least a few of you out there, are going to be like, Oh, awesome! Freejam is catering too much to casuals. God, how dare they? 
Only a hardcore player should, you know, stay around in Robocraft. But I hate to break it to you guys, but if Free Jam doesn't at least cater to casuals in some way, hardcore players won't have a game to play because Robocraft will not exist anymore. Social game modes. So the hub that will cater to players that just love building and they focus on building a lot. They want to show off their art bot. Only way they have to do it now is all alone in practice mode or getting shot up in single player mode or bringing a underperforming bot into a battle. The hub would coupled with the uh, new chat system that would hopefully be <laughs> implemented along with this. It would allow builders to just show off their building skill in a more better environment, I guess. Anyways, um, now race. I actually did a video on this already, if you guys want to go check that out. Um, so, just simply, we need a race mode. It'll be a lot of fun. Something more akin to a Mario Kart-esque style game with power-ups, possibly that could play on something that's already in Robocraft. Aspects, I guess we could say. Like the overclocking, so you would pick up a power-up that would increase your overclock temporarily and it would decay, and you have to keep getting these power-ups, otherwise you would end up back at overclock one, eating the dust of your teammates. Assuming it is a team-based race, or maybe it'd be a solo race. Who knows? Anyways, the third and final one that hasn't been addressed by Free Jam, at least for a little while, is a team versus wave mode. Free Jam sort of hinted at this being a thing when they implemented their single player mode. They wanted to elaborate on that, but far down the road. Hopefully what this means is think... I think it was called Horde Mode from Gears of War, or Nazi Zombies from the infamous Call of Duty. <laughs> um, or Firefight Mode from Halo, or I forget what the Transformers games version of it is called. Anyways, point is, it's a game mode where you get four people together, for example, so a full platoon, and then you can basically defend your base against an increasingly powerful wave of enemies. It'll start out with little tiny dinky, um, say you're playing in Mark 10, you would start out facing like a swarm of Mark 6s, and then you would get more Mark 6s, and then maybe mix some Mark 7s in there, and then transition to Mark 7s, and so on and so forth. Maybe you could add little gun installations by using points you've collected from killing these AI-controlled enemies. And maybe they would follow certain paths, so you could set up your turrets along there, like a pseudo-tower defense sort of thing. And something that would be a bit more advanced. Perhaps have a versus type thing. So you have like an energy barricade in the middle. So both teams of player-controlled bots couldn't interact but the AI-controlled bots would interact. Like, they would be able to cross over the barrier. So once, say, blue team's AI-controlled bots crossed over, then the red team could start shooting them. And then once red team's AI-controlled bots crossed over, then blue team could shoot them. And it would basically be which team can last the longest, which team can outlast the other one. I don't know, something like that, perhaps? I think that might be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys think of these suggestions slash ideas that I'm proposing? I think they would, you know, spruce up the game quite a bit and get a lot of more, I guess, the casual audience to stick around. That being said, I would love all three of those game modes myself. What about you guys? Would you like those game modes? And uh, yeah, comment on anything else you've heard in this video. So with that, I leave it here. I've been the Awesome Soul. I thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Take care.